Okay, the day 69 project is quite intense. I'm gonna start by uploading a bunch of images for my visual novel. Now, to get these images, you can just go on the internet and get as many as you want. I have gone and generated this with Dali, so I've got a theme uh, to what's happening. So my visual novel images here uh, are one to six. Um, I've got my first image, my second image, my third image, fourth image, fifth image, and six image. So you can see sort of the direction that my story is going to take. But we can have a look at those uh, in a moment. Let's start by putting the key things in that we need. And I think the first thing we probably need to look at is putting in the standard setup. We want to have a picture, we want to have a text box, and we want to have a button to choose our options or two buttons to choose our options there. So let's set up our sizing. Um, 400 Let's do 400 by 500 and see what we get. I'm actually going to bother. I'm actually going to close my. I'm going to move my console down here and just make it really small, so I can just see the errors. And I'm going to get rid of my shell just so this takes up the entire side of that screen there. So hopefully that will. Maybe that's too big. Let's make it by 400 by 400. There we go. That looks quite good. Okay, so components. Let's have, instead of calling it hello this time, let's call it story. And we'll do text equals story. Let's make a variable called story. We'll start off with you meet in the street. You meet a woman on the way to a replit meetup, IRL. There we are. That sounds a bit more exciting. Um, the button will be I have a button that says, ask her how she codes. And I have another button that says, tell her about Replit. Make sure that's button two and button two. So let's have a quick look at that. Oh, hello is not defined. That's because I've named that story, not hello. Okay, let's bring in our image as well. So remember we need to go to our package manager we need to look for hello pill so we can get the Python image library, bring that in. And as that's working in the background, I can from hill import image and image TK. Okay. Let's put our standard images in there. In fact, let's load, let's load all our images in, which uh, would be a sensible first step. So, I'm going to bring in my images one at a time. So let's define our images. So let's define our start image. That's going to be image TK. In fact, I, mine are all PNGs, so I don't need to worry about that. I can just read them in the normal way. Um, you may need to read yours in using the, um, the PIL library, so I'm not going to bother doing that with mine. Mine are all PNGs, though. Um, again, if they're not PNGs, you are going to have to use the other library, but I'm going to do it this way for now. Uh, TK dot photo image file equals one. Oh no, it was in a folder called visual novel, visual novel slash one dot PNG. I'm just defining the images for now and we'll add them to the canvas elements in a second. So, um, We've got two options here. Codes. I'm just going to copy that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in another window down, another pane down here. And I'm going to open up my pictures to check them. So there's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Now to develop my story, two and three. I think two should be, have you heard of Replit? And she goes, of course I've heard of Replit. Replit's amazing. So I'm going to make um, that one Replit. Um, and I'm going to make that number two. And then number three is that one. So ask her how she codes. Um, and she gets her laptop out to show you a, a normal installed ID and it falls on the floor and, and she's not very happy. Um, I think that's what we'll do there. Um, so then... Um, let's have a look from the replit one. I'd say, uh, we can have T 
two endings there. Days, which will be this one, which is, uh, have you done 100 days of code yet? Uh, no, I'm working through it. Magic powers. This one then from there will be like, yes, I have, and it's amazing. And six will be basically both options. Uh, well, I know to, uh, six can be, um, let's call it VS for no apparent reason. Um, so it'd be VS if we are doing, you know, I, I use a local IDE and it's all fallen apart. And then I can use um, amazing again if, I, if we say, oh, no, no, you should use Replit. So we've got our images loaded in now. Uh, we've got our story. Uh, we've got our button, our two buttons, and we need to have our canvas. Now, our canvas really should be that first thing. So let's put that in here. Put it in the window. Uh, width equals 300. Height equals 200. Canvas stop pack to put it on the screen. Check I haven't broken anything. Doesn't look like we've got any error messages there at the moment. There's a space for the image there. Let's put the starting image in, uh, just to be in the right place. Container equals canvas dot create underscore image. I'm going to start with uh, one one, but I think I need to change those. And then the image, what we call the first one, start. So let's go about getting this in there properly. Right, it's a bit big. So let's resize these images. 10 10 see what I get out of that by 100 and 100 there we go that's more centered that's got the main point of the image in there um, let's make sure that all those images are resampled to the same size then so that one's going to be codes that one's going to be replit this one's going to be days Amazing. This one's going to be the S. So they've all been resized now. Okay, so we need to write a subroutine now for ask her how she codes. So command equals, and we're going to go to, if we ask her how she codes, she is going to tell us, oh, we've got a picture, we've got one called codes there. So we're going to do I code, and we're going to write that subroutine now def I code. I'm going to global the story so I can change that. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to update the image. So canvas.itemconfig. I need to tell the container that the image is now codes. So let's check that works. So the image is actually working. There we go. We need to update the story text. She tries to pull out her laptop and drops it on the floor. Okay, we also need to update that then. So that's going to be story, uh, story, square brackets, text, equals story. So let's check that updates. Oh, it's the speech marks, quotes. It's not story, is it? What have I called it? Uh, I've got two variables called story. Let's call the button something else. Let's call let's call that story label. Oh. Again, never good to have two variables of the same name, um, especially when they represent different things. Here we go. Text changes now, and we just need to change the buttons. So we need to hide those two buttons. So those two buttons are called button and button two. Button dot pack forget button two dot pack forget should remove those and then we need to basically add two more buttons for two more options and pack those up so let's have that one i gonna take the command out for a second because we haven't decided on that so I'll go for that one let's call this one button three so this one we said, let's have a look. So, so the options are, she says she's a local code editor or 
She says she uses Replit. She says, I use a local editor. And button four, she says, I use Replit. Okay, so we need to pack button three and button four up. Button three dot pack, button four dot pack. There you go. Let's do the opposite option to that now. So the second option was this grumpy one. Um, so clearly she looks grumpy. Why is the question? So let's switch things over. What did I call that image? I called that image Replit. Did I call it Replit? Let's try it. Let's call this one I Replit. Replit. Why I use Replit, of course, like every sane individual. Because <laughs> let's be honest, it's quite true, isn't it? So pack those ones. We're going to unpack buttons uh, five and six. Let's make buttons five and six, though. So button five would be, you say, I use Replit too. The other, no, I use Replit too. Have you done, you say, I use Replit too. You say, I'm actually going through 100 days of code right now. Let's see if that works. No, I haven't plugged it in. <laughs> I haven't plugged that button in. So that's button two. The command needs to be I replit, which I believe that's what we call the subroutine. There we go. Right. So let's have a look at this. So I use a local ed editor is going to end up with a bad one. So what can we call this one? Let's call this one. I edit. <laughs> right. What buttons did we have on? We had buttons three and four on. So we need to hide buttons three and four. I'm going to add in buttons seven and eight, although I haven't written those yet. She spends two hours loading up a code editor and getting it working. You wait politely. There we go. So this is what happens when things go wrong. Uh, this one is going to be VS for some reason. Um, so that looks okay. I edit. So I need to Attach a button to that one. So I use a local editor. Command equals I edit. So again, let's see if we can go through that flow. I use a local editor. She's on the floor crying. Uh, button seven's not defined. It isn't yet because we haven't got that going on. Ah, right. We might need to add a little return in this. She spends two hours loading up a, a local code editor. Let's just do a slash n. See if that works. Let's get a new line in there. We might not. I might need to define a box. Oh, there we go. Slash n works nicely there. Uh, but I haven't got those buttons defined yet. In fact, I don't need two buttons, do I? Because that's the end of the story. So button seven should be a button that just goes start again. But I'm going to call it restart button. And I'm going to say text restart. Command is restart. Okay, so let's try that. There we go. Button seven's not defined. No, because I called it restart button, didn't I? Go back up here, restart button. And you know what I'm going to do as well? Because I'm going to def that, def restart. So to restart, the so I'm restarting the story goes back to the original story. The image goes back to the start image. Uh, the buttons, so I'm going to do restart button disappears. And we pack button and button one. This should be a loop back to the original there. So we should be able to loop back to the original on that one. Right. How does she code? Local editor, sad times, restart. Boom. Button one's not defined though. So what does that mean? Where is button one? I'm sure I had a button one. Or did I call it button two? There we go. How does she code? Local editor, restart. Boom. Okay. So let's do this one. She says I use Replit. Okay. So what's going to happen with that one? That's the celebration one, isn't it? So. What button's that one? I use Replit. She 
it says I use replit command equals I used. So let's write the I use subroutine. It's gonna be very similar to I edit because it's a it's an end state. I use we both celebrate using the best coding platform. Both those buttons need to disappear. The restart button comes up. The image is amazing, maybe? Let's have a look. Stop, restart. How does she code? Uses replit. Celebrate, okay. The best. HN coding platform. Oh, sure that restart button is there. I use replit. Great. Fantastic. Okay, let's do tell her about replit now. Um, I use replit2. So I'm going to call this one i2. I'm going to change the image to. And this one's going to be replit. Uh, she, uh, she tells you all about 100 days of code. Which labels are on the screen? What are these ones called? Let's have a look. Buttons five and six for the look of it. So forget buttons five and six and load that. Tell about replit. I use replit two. I haven't connected that up of I I2. So we're looking at the button that says I use replit two. Command equals I use. No. I2. Tell about replit. I use replit two. Oh, that image hasn't changed. So what image is that one that I want? We want that one, which is image four. So what do we call that one? We call that one days by the look of it. Okay. Days. There we go. So we've got one more to do. You say, I'm actually going to 200 days of code right now. And we've already done really what I want for that. Um, and if I stop it, I start it again. It's this pathway. How she codes. I use replit and it's this one. Both celebrate using the best whatever blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to call this one I win. I'm going to go and get that code you both celebrate. So I want that for the story and that for the canvas. I'm going to add that to it. Hide those buttons, restart. Let's see if that works. So, tell about replit. 100 days of code. And linked it up have I <laughs> I win that one is linked to so where's that button command equals I win tell about replit celebrate boom there we go we've got a working visual novel now that took us about half an hour which not ideal but you know these programs are getting quite complicated now there's a lot going on